But now, but now I'm searching around for winter now since it's winter time and it definitely hasn't felt like winter out there. Today, another day where we're seeing temperatures well above average. Now we started off cold this morning, 29 degrees in the city. So we started off below freezing, which is right around that average low this morning. But look at that big warm up, 40 degree warm up throughout the day today. We finished off at 69 here in the city. The average high for the day, only 48 degrees. So 20 degrees above average and only two degrees shy of that record high for the day. Now as we move through the afternoon and evening hours, mid and high level cloudiness surging in from the west. We didn't see any rainfall from that cloudiness, but you notice out to the west, this is a little bit of lift. This is a weak wave of energy is moving across the state as we speak. What's going to happen? It's going to continue to work its way to the east, right across central and eastern Oklahoma, and we have moisture down to the south has been lifting up to the north on gusty south winds throughout the day. And as that moisture lifts to the north and that wave of energy moves into eastern Oklahoma and they interact, we're going to see showers and some thunderstorms developing across parts of eastern Oklahoma, especially from Highway 75 and points to the east. Looks to be the highest opportunity if you live closer to the Arkansas state line overnight tonight, you have the highest chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms, and we could even see a few strong to isolated severe storms later on tonight as well, especially from east central into southeast Oklahoma in this green shading and especially in far southeast sections of the state where we have a slight risk for severe weather overnight tonight into the early morning hours. Now so far for the month, we picked up about two inches of rainfall for the year over 55 inches of rain, the 10th wettest year on record so far, still running 14.86 inches above average, and we're going to see that change for a few showers and thunderstorms across eastern Oklahoma later on tonight. We don't expect tremendous amounts of rainfall. Then we're going to stay relatively dry through Christmas Day, but as we move into Christmas night and the upcoming weekend, looks like heavy rains on the way. Future track rainfall anywhere from two to four inches is going to be quite common, and this is only through 4 a.m. on Sunday. We expect more heavy rain on Sunday, so some places could pick up over six inches of rainfall by the time this system this weekend pulls on out. So it looks relatively dry through most of Christmas. Then this weekend, very, very wet across eastern Oklahoma. We're not talking about any wet weather out there right now. If you have any travel plans, no problems at all. We're setting at 59 degrees south and southeast winds still strong at 18 miles per hour and we're going to see those breezy south winds right on through the overnight 58 broken arrow claremore 58 collinsville 58 60 degrees in sepulp and the rest of eastern oklahoma in the 50s and 60s so still very very mild for this time of the year all right travel weather for the next several days christmas eve we'll see some showers across the eastern seaboard some snow showers up to our north and out in the west coast we'll see some showers along the coast some of the higher terrain of the west we will see some snow now as we move on into christmas day We'll see the rain across much of the southeast United States, some snow across areas of Colorado, and still more rain and snow out to the west. But for us, the big changes start to move in as we move on into Saturday, as we're going to see heavy rain likely across much of Oklahoma, extending back toward the Tennessee Valley, and we're going to see some heavier snows developing across areas of Colorado and New Mexico. And then on Sunday, looks to be we're going to see some very tricky weather across the southern plains. We're going to see heavy rain, looks like across the eastern half of the state, but the western half of the state could see some heavy snowfall, especially northwest Oklahoma, back into the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. So we're going to have to watch this system very, very closely. So if you have any travel plans over the upcoming weekend, maybe you're heading home or heading to grandma's house, maybe right after Christmas for a couple of days, you're going to have to deal with some problems. It looks like rain to the east and also some snow out to the west. So just keep that in your plans and stay with us here for the next couple of days. We continue to revise that forecast as we move toward the weekend. But overnight tonight, we'll see the cloudy skies, some showers and thunderstorms developing again, generally from Tulsa off to the east. And as we move through the overnight, we'll see that quickly push off to the east. So most of the day tomorrow, we'll just see partly cloudy skies and another mild day tomorrow with temperatures back in the 60s. And we'll see temperatures tonight generally 40s and lower 50s out there for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies and temperatures generally in the 60s, even some lower 70s in southeast Oklahoma. So we're talking about mild weather here for the next few days through Christmas. Then the rains come in and also colder weather by Sunday back in the 40s for highs. So enjoy the mild weather and the dry conditions because it's going to change for the upcoming weekend. I'm kind of liking the 60s. It's great to get all the last minute shopping done and yeah. the plans made. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. We're going to be real careful this weekend. Some flooding rain is definitely going to be likely across parts of the area. Okay, thanks, Steph. Okay.